same problem, different method. And I'm gonna let x equal to tangent t. The dx becomes one over cosine squared t dt, and one plus x squared becomes one plus tangent squared. That is one over cosine squared t. That's just a trick identity because tangent t is sine over cosine, so that's sine squared over cosine squared and becomes cosine squared plus sine squared, that is one, one over cosine squared. And now my integral is, instead of zero to one, we have to change the boundaries as well. So when x equal to zero, t equals zero. When x equal one, t equals pi over four. So this is safe. And now it becomes the bottom, we have one over cosine squared at the top we have log of 1 plus x, x is tangent t times d, dx, dx is 1 over cosine squared t, dt. And now we can simply cancel out the 1 over cosine squared, 1 over cosine squared. Then I have i equals 0 to pi over 4 of log of 1 plus tangent. 1 plus tangent is 1 plus sine over cosine. That's cosine plus sine over cosine. And using logarithm rule, difference of logarithm. That is equal to log of cosine plus sine minus log of cosine dt. And now let's look at the uh, cosine plus sine. Right, cosine plus, so what's cosine plus sine in this case? Cosine plus sine. Uh, can extract the square root of two. We have one over square root of two times cosine t plus one over square root of two times sine t. Then that is equal to 1 over square root of 2 is simply cosine of pi over 4. Plus 1 over square root of 2 is sine of pi over 4. And then that is simply angle sum or angle difference. Cos cos plus sine sine, that is cos difference of t and pi over 4. And now my integral becomes as equal to from zero to pi over four log of square root of two times cosine. Again, using logarithm rule becomes sum of logarithm plus splitting the integral zero to pi over four of the logarithm of a cosine of t minus pi over 4 dt dt don't forget there is a this one this minus again so the minus integral from pi over 4 of a log of cosine t dt Okay, then I can simply change the uh, change this quantity t minus pi over four t minus pi over four equal u the dt is now du. This let's call that i one. This integral i one i one. Again, change the boundaries, right? When t is zero, t is zero, u is minus pi over four. When t is uh, pi over four, u is uh, zero. So i1 becomes this log of cosine u du. 
Fang Yu Di Yu. Now, let's compare this versus this. Let's call that I2, right? I2. Now, simply because the function of uh, log of, if we observe closely, log of cosine of u. Uh, here I use t, but it doesn't matter, because as long as it's consistent. So this function of u is simply, obviously, a, an even function, right? Because if u becomes negative u, since cosine is already an even function, so again, that is called cosine u. So log, doesn't matter, log of cosine u equals log of cosine minus u, even function. As long as it's an even function, then we integrate from... Uh, minus a to zero, zero to positive a, right? So minus pi over four to zero, zero to pi over four. So in fact, this value of integral should be equal to this value of integral, exactly the same, right? Even function, right? So that means i1, i1 is this, i2 is that, but the whole minus i2, right? i1 minus i2, the same value, right? Minus, minus plus, minus, become zero automatically cancel out, right? So i is in fact only this part. So this part is what is, so pi over 4 times log of square root of 2. And square root of, root of 2 is 2 to the power of half, right? Take down the half to the front. Pi over 8 log 2. 